it's me, Darmageddon, Darmageddon Well. I'm just laying in my yard because that's about what's comfortable for me. So today has been a day like many other days and also very different. So um, yeah, um, again, super tired and having a lot of challenges with basic function and you know, stuff like getting up and just being upright, doing things, finishing things, starting things, um, operating in the most basic way. But anyway, um, I um, spoke with my radiologist today and we went over my scans and um, just on my phone here. And um, he shared images with me that went with the descriptions that I already read about. And yeah, it's uh, really something. I'm amazed that I'm alive. I'm amazed that I am able to breathe. I'm amazed that I can get up and move around. I'm not amazed at how tired I am anymore. And I'm not at all amazed at why I feel so bad. I'm just mostly like super grateful to my body for being as strong and resilient and uh, just kind of beast, like for real. I don't know how it's doing what it's doing because I literally basically have almost no left lung. I mean, I have a lung, but where is it? Like for real, oh, I gotta move. I am, um, my left lung is collapsed and um, it has almost no room. There's a little room at the top for it. And then as you know, you look at the CT scan, it's like slices of the body. So as you move down, there's no space for the lung at all. And then by the time you get down here, it's also like encroaching into other areas like my spleen and my, um, is it, this is the reason why my gut's so uncomfortable. There's actually nothing wrong with my guts. Um, all of my other organs, um, like my liver and my kidneys um, and my heart are still intact and doing good. So I'm super, super thankful about that. And um, as I suspected, there's not really any uh, hope for utilizing radiation to help me. And my problems are far beyond that. There's not anything that we could focus in on. So it's good that I had already requested to um, get immunotherapy. And my oncologist had a nurse call me this morning and I had to do a little finagling and, you know, not, not exactly begging, but like, please, please help me. Um, I was able to get an appointment to start immunotherapy next week. And my oncologist, my naturopath, my mistletoe doctor and my radiologist all think that's my best choice. Um, and it's kind of like my only choice besides immunotherapy. I mean, I can also die. That's um, totally where I'm headed right now if I don't do something. Um, but so I'm, oh, my cat is here. That's his little tail such a handsome guy. Anyway, um, so uh, I'm going to start that next um, Wednesday. And Tuesday I have my thoracentesis. I'm going to have my um, pleural fluid from my lung drained. And there's a lot of it, like a lot. I'm really, really, really struggling. And now that I've seen pictures of it, I really, really see why. So I'm going to do that on Tuesday and start um, immunotherapy on Wednesday. And then Thursday, I'm driving for 24 hours to South Dakota for Sundance. So I'm really, really praying that this immunotherapy can help me and that I can feel better and that um, I can have some kind of a miraculous turnaround and that uh, my lungs can have the space that they need to breathe, especially my left one. My right one's doing all right. I was kind of joking earlier that I'm all right because my right side's pretty okay. Like, yeah, it's got, it's got some tumors, but it's all right. I've got this big one here and some other ones here and one in my lung, but other than that, it's, it's hanging tight. You know, it's, it's not suffering. So that's really good. Thank you to my right side. And if we could just get some good healing on my left side, <clears throat> that would be really, really awesome too. So that's, that's what's going on today. So have an awesome and blessed and beautiful day and happy healing to each and every one of you.